Go ahead. Aizaki, the, uh, new detective has arrived. Yes, I'm aware. Please escort them to the surveillance room. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Escort them to the surveillance room, please. This is not going to plan. Not at all. It can't possibly be Amane. Mogi has already confirmed her whereabouts, so... Unless she has sent a proxy in her place... No, that would be pointless. If Amane is the second Kira, then she needs to see my face herself. So who is the second person? Could they, in fact, be the real second Kira? Perhaps Amane is a red herring. He's certainly clever enough to arrange something like that. Still, that cleverness is precisely why this contrivance is far too obvious a move for Kida. If this is the second Kida at my doorstep, uh, then I can be sure the two aren't yet working together. He would never condone something this reckless, unless that's what he wants me to think. It's us. Please, come in. <clears throat> Ryuzaki. Detective. Detective? Ryuzaki. Yes, thank you. You may leave now. <laughs> leave? Uh, Ryuzaki! Yes, leave. I have a little test I'd like to run to ensure our new ally is just that. You do recall the first time I met with the task force, don't you? And I asked to speak with each of you alone. It, yeah, but under the circumstances... Under the circumstances, we cannot know for sure what resources Kida has at his disposal, and it is therefore very important to follow my instructions exactly. Thank you for escorting the detective. You may leave now. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'll go. I'm sure you'll debrief us later. Shh, say nothing. Not yet. There. I've secured some privacy for us for the time being. No one can walk in or hear us over the monitoring system. But the suite's walls haven't been soundproofed, so we must take care not to raise our voices. This is... I was not finished. Please, do not interrupt me. This is incredibly irresponsible of you. Irresponsible. Dangerous. Stupid. Are you aware of that? I congratulate you for being able to conceal your identity during your correspondence with the task force. But you do realize you could have been taken into custody the moment you set foot near this hotel? <sighs> you knew I would suspect this of being a poorly disguised infiltration attempt, given the second Kida's relative lack of intelligence compared to the original. The possibility is painfully obvious. And you used that. You exploited my desire to take advantage of the second Kida's carelessness in order to apprehend them, putting yourself in considerable danger in the process. All to ensure that I would allow you on site at Task Force Headquarters against my wishes. I have tried to keep you as ignorant of the material facts of this case as I can, without keeping you totally in the dark. But clearly, I have been sharing too much. Held back? I am not holding you back from the case. You are not part of this case. Not officially. And now, thanks to this little maneuver of yours, not at all. 
Since you so badly want to be part of this task force one way or the other, let me be clear. I lead it. I make the rules, and the rules are obeyed. Do you understand? So if I tell you to turn around and leave this hotel, you will do it. Trust you? No, I used to trust you. After this, I don't know whether trust is something I will ever be capable of with you again. You should have stayed out of sight. Everything was perfect when, for all intents and purposes, you didn't exist. <sighs> Judging by your silence, you have no more fight left in you. Good. This is my final word on the subject. You will not be allowed on the task force. You will not be allowed to perform any work on the investigation whatsoever, covert or otherwise. You will not receive updates on the Kita case from me or anyone else. You will now leave at once. Do not expect me to call for you again. I'll see you out. Oh, Ryuzaki. Sorry, I... Didn't realize you were on your way out. Dad and I arrived a little early today. Who is that you've got with you? Ah. Uh, light. This is, potentially, our newest consultant. A detective with expertise in photo and video evidence analysis. Naturally, these skills will be useful to us given the means by which the two Kitas are presently communicating. Unfortunately, you've arrived just as we are concluding our first meeting and seeing ourselves out. Now, if you'll excuse us. Whoa, 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 wait a second! You haven't said anything about bringing another consultant on board. And you haven't hinted at needing additional video analyses, either. I thought the police labs were sufficient. For the most part, they are sufficient. As for the rest, it should hardly surprise you that I do not seek your counsel for every decision I make. Now, if you would kindly move. I will, but I have one question first. What is it? You can at least fill me in on this much. What do you mean by this person being potentially our newest consultant? If you trust someone enough to invite them to Task Force Headquarters to meet with you face to face... Isn't that proof you trust them enough to consult with us? Maybe you doubt this detective's skills, but I can't imagine that being the case if you found those skills compelling enough to risk exposure for. Clever as always, Light. Yes, I have my motives for taking this risk. And, yes, the detective skills are impressive. However, what you are short-sightedly failing to consider is that not everyone is so fortunate as yourself to receive permanent consulting status on an investigation. In fact, most consultants come and go on a temporary basis. I don't question the value of bringing the detective on board to examine the Sakura tapes. Only the value of keeping anyone on the team who will likely prove unnecessary in the long run. I'd like to keep personnel to a minimum for what should be obvious reasons. Yes, I suppose that makes sense. Good. Now, if you would please. Oh, but I've been incredibly rude, haven't I? I'm so sorry. Excuse me, detective. I understand Ryuzaki's caution, but I'd like to introduce myself properly, even if you don't intend to stay with the team. <laughs> Especially since we seem to have so much in common already. I'm also acting as a consultant for the investigation. It's a pleasure to meet you. Really, 
If Ryuzaki invited you to work with us, he must trust you a great deal, so I'm very impressed by you already. My name is Light Asahi. What's yours? Light, I've humored this conversation long enough. The detective was just leaving, and we need to get to work. <laughs> a very interesting name. I feel lucky that my father and I showed up when we did, or else I might not have ever gotten to meet you. That would have been a real shame. Do you mind if I chat with you for just a minute or two? I know you need to leave, but... I admit, meeting someone Ryuzaki trusts so easily, I feel a little starstruck. <laughs> Thank you. I promise not to keep you long. I'll hold you to that. Don't worry so much, Ryuzaki. An extra couple minutes won't delay the investigation. Besides, I'm early, remember? And the detective has already said they'd like to chat. It can't hurt anything, can it? First of all, Detective... May I call you that? I'm sorry, I, I just can't see myself getting too familiar with you. I want to be courteous. You're obviously someone worthy of great respect. <laughs> well, I certainly appreciate the invitation to keep things casual. But I think I'll address you as detective all the same. There's something about it I like. The formality suits you. Excuse me? The formality? Light, what do you mean by- Oh, absolutely not. Please, just call me Light. Everyone on the task force does. Even Ryuzaki, as you can tell. I don't mind. I'm aware it's unusual for someone my age to take part in an investigation of this scope. Yes, yes. The two of you are officially introduced now, in which case... Well, some people do consider it impressive, I admit. But honestly, I have to give full credit to my father. My achievements wouldn't exist if it weren't for his guidance and encouragement. I always aspired to walk in his footsteps one day. And now, against all odds, here I am, working with the best detective in the world. Thank you. Now we really must be going. Or maybe it's more accurate to say, the best detectives in the world. Now that I've met you, the pluralization seems... important. Light, what are you... Ryuzaki, I know you don't get out much, but you can't possibly be blind to what's happening here. Please don't make me spell it out for you. That would be embarrassing for all of us. No, actually. I think I would quite appreciate you spelling it out for me. Would you mind explaining me why you're very inappropriately flirting with the new consultant? Please, there's hardly anything inappropriate about it. Of course, I would never fraternize with another member of the task force in a way that could jeopardize the investigation. And I have no doubt the detective feels the same way. You have nothing to worry about. Stop being so paranoid about someone you claim to trust. The detective and I simply have... Chemistry. Chemistry? Yes. And a little flirting off hours never hurt anyone. We are not off hours. Aren't we? I'm early. The detective was just leaving. You yourself admitted that the two of you were wrapping up your meeting. Speaking of which, it really is time to go. Light, please move away from the door. I will be escorting the detective to the main suite. All right, all right. I can see that I've overstayed my welcome. I'll get out of your way. But don't think I didn't notice you refer to the detective as the new consultant for Yuzaki. It seems you've made up your mind about whether you want to keep them on the team after all. Hmm. A linguistic shortcut, that's all. I've made no decision. You don't make linguistic shortcuts. Fine. Astute as ever, Light. I am leaning towards keeping the detective on the team. 
I wasn't quite ready to reveal that information yet, but, uh, well... Seeing as it's all out of the bag now, I might as well address it directly. This calls for a private conversation with the detective, of course, to establish what can be expected during a trial period with us. Detective, if light is worth a few minutes of your time, I'm sure you can spare a few more, yes? Good. Light will just be a moment. This won't take long. Would you please wait for us in the main suite with your father and the others? Of course. I'm sorry I interrupted, Ryuzaki. I appear to have sped things up a little faster than you intended. So it would seem. But I'd be lying if I said I was disappointed. Detective, I know nothing is technically set in stone yet, but I have a feeling you're the newest member of the task force. I very much look forward to working with you in the future. Even though we've only just met, somehow, I feel like I can trust you. I can almost see it in your eyes. You're a wise and careful person. That's enough, Light. <laughs> You're right. I just can't seem to stop talking today, can I? I'll go now and leave you both to it. I'll catch up with you in a bit, Ryuzaki. And hopefully with you too. Detective. Wait. Give him time to walk away. This is still salvageable. He couldn't have foreseen your arrival. This was only a happenstance meeting. I still have time. I can fly you out of the country tonight. Yes, I'll have Watari falsify a visa and arrange it at once. It's the only way. Light's no fool. He may not know the details, but he's already deduced that you're no mere consultant. He's seen your face, and if he and the second Kita are working together... Do not tell me to calm down! Don't you understand? This is why I wanted you to stay as far away from the task force as possible. As far away from him as possible. We are dealing with forces I can't predict. The only way I could guarantee your safety was by keeping you hidden. And now... And now I failed. If I do send you away, that will only confirm what he suspects. And the power of Kida extends across the continents anyway, making you hardly any safer. If I don't send you away, then you remain at the epicenter of the danger. <sighs> what do I do? I... I don't know. I've never not known before. Yes, you're right. There's no going back. What's done is done. Please, tell me. Why did you do this? My love, why? To help catch Kira? That's... it? <laughs> the very things I love about you are the things that are now breaking my heart. You're intelligent, compassionate, dedicated, immensely brave. <laughs> and impossibly stubborn. I should have known I would never be able to keep you away from the investigation forever. Are you sure that this is what you want? Even if sending you away confirms his suspicions about the nature of our relationship. I believe it's the safest option we have. There's still time to get you out of Japan. All right. 
right then. If you are determined to risk your life in pursuit of Kida, then as much as I might want to, it is not my place to stop you. I am sorry for the things I've done, the things I've said. Please just know that every choice I've made, every word that's left my lips, every action I've taken has been, first and foremost, to keep you safe. Failing to solve the case doesn't frighten me. The potential to lose my own life doesn't frighten me either. But the idea of losing you does. And that's only because... I love you. You understand? I love you so much. Which is why I will now do everything in my power to support you instead of standing in your way. You are still my motivation to succeed in catching Kida. More than that, you are my motivation to draw breath. I want you by my side. I always have. My love. <laughs> Welcome to the task force. Yes, really. Congratulations, detective. I just have one condition. Please... Stop flirting with light. I realize that you're establishing a rapport to make observation easier, but I despise seeing him talk to you that way. Thank you, my love. I was worried I'd have to kill him. I'm just kidding. Mostly. I intend to actually solve this case, I promise. In the meantime, we should properly introduce you to the rest of the team. But first... I love you wholly and trust you completely, no matter what happens. Never forget, alright? Good. Now, let's rejoin the others in the main suite. We have a killer to catch, and I'm certain he's sucking down the last of the fresh tea, just to spite me. <laughs>